This video is sponsored by Factor. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the Reject Nation, we have made it to the Avatar finale. Hoot hoot. Haha, -ha, we suckered you guys into being here this long. We've hated every second. We've just been lying to keep you coming back. No, it's been a, I've been, I've been there's a lot to been really liking, a lot we've been loving, and other things we haven't been fans of. Not perfect, but plenty to enjoy. Looking forward to seeing how this wraps up. What do you guys think of the finale? Does it stick the landing? I'm good at the landing. Because <laughs> he lands on the ground and when he flies. Yes, yes, he does. <laughs> hey, leave a like on this video. Bend that subscribe button for uh, other purposes. We're not doing a follow-up avatar video for this, but you know, we might do something else you might like. Thanks to Prepper for helping us set down these highlights. Super Sexy Rejects, thank you to all who have been becoming Super Sexy Rejects. It's over there, that's our Patreon. You get the full interaction watch along where you sync up with your own copy of Avatar The Last Airbender. Also, John and I cover several things exclusively with highlights and watch alongs included. All right, boo boo ka choo, choo let's see how Aang whoops everyone's ass in one big gigantic episode. This is my favorite moment of uh, the first season, so I'm very excited. <laughs> He landed. Wow, Ing's really going for it here, huh? Yeah, he's got faith. Cool. Watch out, Katara! There's a new group coming in Starbird side. <laughs> what was that? Now that is what we call synergy. Not bad effects. One chip down. How many more to go? 48 million. When you look past the horizon, there oh, you go. Oh my god. The wall is impenetrable and heavily guarded. But Impossible to scale. I know you think I'm being reckless, but Zhao has cornered the Avatar and he's not gonna stop until he has him. One way or another, this is where my journey ends. No, no, you're the best part of the show. I know. Search the coastline for fishers. They could provide a pathway inside. Lu Ten would have been proud to have you as his father. Oh. I love these two together I so much. love it. Remember your breath of fire. You could save your life out there. They have such good connection, these two actors. We'll meet again after I have the avatar. He's a good actor, guys. Look at this. Look at him. Crying is the mark of good acting, everyone. This is bad, isn't it? They mean business, but so do we. I'd say it's 50-50. 70-30. 60-40. Where are you going? To even the odds. What? How? You're wondering why the command ship isn't leading the attack. Weren't you the one who pointed out a frontal assault on the waterbenders would be fruitless? Well, yes, but... So it would make sense to attack on multiple fronts. Yes. Open a new front with one ship? One ship, but not one vessel. Oh, well, that scientist guy really screwed things over. Oh, this isn't our work. No, this comes courtesy of our spies in homage. This is God just a prototype. Damn it. It's far too small to carry any kind of significant fighting force. You of all people should know that victory doesn't always depend on the numbers, but it should get the job done. What job? Annihilation. Wow, that two hours went by quick, huh? Pretty cool. This is where the first movie ended. Still waiting for that sequel. I thought I made myself clear. Women are not allowed in combat. I thought I showed you how stupid that is. You know we can make a difference. We? Oh, all the women are going to fight. Yeah, let us fight, man. Got to be at least one woman who's like, I really don't want to go out here. <laughs> Actually, I like things the way they are. What good is it relying on the past when it stops us from having a future? When oh it makes God, us even, do war work, honey. Even she's coming around. Maybe that's his wife. Western side of the wall needs reinforcement. You can help them repair the damage. See if their warriors need any other assistance. And now it's going to be on his mind the entire fight. He's not going to be focused. I know. He's going to be like, all those pathetic women back here. I need you to go with Yue and help her move the people away from the wall. But most importantly, 
Make sure the princess stays safe. For sure. For sure. I swear I won't leave her side. What a great assignment for this guy who has to ha has a crush on her. Go women. Go women. Paco sent you to me? He told us to help you in any way we can. We haven't finished our training yet, but try our best. Oh boy. You can start by reinforcing that section. If you spot any incoming fireballs, don't try to take them on yourself. Let me know. Yes, Master Katara. Master, Master Katara. Katara. Call me boss. Boss Katara. Boss Lady Katara. The moon. The moon. Admiral, the waterbenders draw their strength from the moon. The balloon. I suggest you pause the attack until daybreak. No, that isn't just any moon. It's the ice moon between the physical and spirit worlds grow thin on this night. See, he's smart. He is smart. When I received the Fire Lord's orders to conquer the North, I knew brute force wasn't going to be enough. I needed an edge. You're right. The tribe looked up to the sky and learned to waterbend by watching the moon push and pull the tide. You seem to have a lot of respect for the culture. Their lives come from the spirit of the ocean, while their powers come from the spirit of the moon. These same spirits give up their immortality for one night every year to be among the waterbenders. Zhao, you're not thinking of tampering with the spirit world, are you? Goddamn right. Wonder how big they're gonna go. I mean, gotta do what you gotta do, man. Yeah, if you wanna win victory at all costs. Killing the ocean spirit would deprive waterbenders around the world of their lives. I'm not a monster. <laughs> So, oh, thank God. I'm only going to kill the moon. Zhao cannot be allowed to meddle with the primal forces of nature. In doing so, he will throw the entire world out of balance. I don't even think Ozai would approve of that. Are you okay? Something terrible is about to happen. Everyone, head to the palace. <laughs> You'll be safer there. Momo. The sin. I swear to God, I'll stop watching right now. I'll stop watching right now if something happens what? to Momo. I think Momo's fine. Good job, Momo. You actually made yourself useful. Oh my god, no way. Did they really? They wouldn't. There's water healing. Uh, uh, oh. Is he alive? Barely. Water heal. Look at his poor little flopping body. Man, it made me feel so real. He wouldn't kill. That'd be too far, show. Where are we? Wow, they really brought that to life. It's the most sacred spot in the north. The waters that feed this grove are heated by the earth. Hot springs. Makes the stakes more personal. I love Momo. <laughs> Give him to me. This is where the priest brought me when I was sick. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, thank you, G. Momo! You dumb dummy, don't scare me like that. Oh. Oh, poor Momo. Really, if they killed off Momo? Okay. I what watching. is this show? I would have gotten up and walked out <laughs> right now. What is that? Something that shouldn't be here. Why don't you go warn people? It's a war balloon. A war balloon? Stolen from Amashu. From what I can tell, this one's not designed for combat, just transport. How do you know that? Because I helped design the thing. <sighs> Help is very little important, but... You're acting like you really like the spearhead of it. General Iroh, either you help me find the spirits or watch as I burn this whole place to the ground. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Such a good actor. I'm so surprised. I had no interest in Joe. <laughs> like none. <laughs> it's so good. Avatar! There's nowhere left to run. Go. Stop Zhao. I'll deal with him. Go easy. Enough people have been hurt already. I don't care. I wasn't talking to you. Oop. <laughs> You've me tricks, but I didn't come this far to lose to you. Drown him. You little peasant! You found a master, haven't you? <laughs> yes, you're looking at her. Oh, Ooh. shit. His fire breath will save his life. We got company. We need to stop Xiao. He's trying to kill the ocean and moon spirits. He can't. That would mean the end of our people. Aang is aware of this, guys. Yen and Yang. Yes. Am I going to watch him kill a fish right now? You don't remember this? I do, and I don't want to watch it happen in live-action form. 
Even Ozai wouldn't want that. Ozai lacks vision. You're right. Ozai doesn't. He can't see the bigger picture. Whatever you do to that spirit, I'll unleash on you tenfold! This can still work out for you, Iroh. Once I take my place as the new Fire Lord, you can stand by my side. As the new Fire Lord? The Dragon of the West can rise again. As long as he bows... Before Zhao! The Moon's Flayer! Oh, found himself a good title. I am a legend now! They will tell stories about me! For generations, Zhao the Moon Slayer. Zhao! Put that fish down. No matter what you think, this isn't power. Do you realize what I can do? Fish has been out of water too long. I can wipe out an entire race of benders. Can you imagine what that's like? Yes, you can. Yes, I can. You want to rule the world, but if you do this, there won't be a world to rule. So release a spirit and I'll go with you. Zhao doesn't understand science. Do you think anyone cares about you? How much of a threat will the Avatar be once I eliminate water bending? You don't matter anymore. Knows how to cut deep, man. Mm -hmm. The fish has been out of water for a long time, you guys. It's not a normal fish. <laughs> Is this, is this as slow as I think it is, or is... Oh no, don't watch. <laughs> oh, boy. <gasps> Yui! <laughs> Whoa, I like these visuals though. This plan is so dumb. Why? I don't think it's dumb. And it's constant. Wow, it's crazy shots. It's consequential for everyone. City has been breached. None of you guys can do literally anything anymore. It's way too far. Yeah, this is really harsh. I mean, yeah. I think the visuals are really well done, though, on this black and white and the colors coming in. Because the only thing providing color is the fire right now, really. Oh my gosh. Iro unleashed. The moon is gone. There's no hope now. It's over. The Avatar's power is great, but it pales before the power of the elemental spirits. That's right. Yes, give it to me. I want it. I want it now. Give it to me now. It's not done. Don't do this. You'll be lost forever. I should have been lost a hundred years ago. This isn't my time or my world. I can save my world. I can save this one. <laughs> you mean the Fire Nation soldiers are hoping he does a good job. I know. <laughs> go, man, go. They did it. Give me what I want. Give me what I want. Yeah! Godzilla. <laughs> it really is a, a kaiju. What just happened? Aang has given himself over to the ocean spirit, allowing it to channel its rage through him and access the power of the Avatar. You gotta reach him. There is no Aang anymore. <sighs> Yui. Go capture him. <laughs> He's like, maybe not. <laughs> Change my mind here. Thank this spirit you are alive. What, what is that? That is wrath. <laughs> The Avatar. There is no Avatar. Not anymore. We must go. No. No. Don't go. We, we must. We can't. We must. What about Katara there? There she is. Fire! You guys got this. Wow. Zuko, don't. Let me go. This Joe can't fire Ben, can he? Yeah, he can. He can't he? He? I, 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 we haven't seen him though, huh? He took everything from me. 
Yow! You're alive. See? Can't fire, Brent. Okay. I mean, I assume they all can. I just I was going to say, we why would he him. be put in charge of an arm yeah. if you can't fire, Brent? Just hadn't seen him do it at all yet. I think we have seen him, actually. Uh, just don't recall. Traitor. Traitor! I really enjoyed the fight scenes. You ruined everything. The Avatar was mine. My mission was... Your mission was a sham. You have to have realized that somewhat. Did you really think the Fire Lord was going to take you back? Ozai was playing with you. It was all a game. I think Ozai never actually expected him to find the Avatar. And the winner is the one without the scar from Daddy. Ozai was just using you as motivation for your sister. Damn, he knows a lot. I know. And once again, continuing to pit the siblings against each other. You're lying! And me, you're lying! Who do you think was my ally through all this? Oh, that's right. They did reveal that. <laughs> Who convinced the Fire Lord to send me the Yuyan archers? Who identified the Blue Spirit Sword? Azula told me everything I needed to know. It was Azula all along. You were the fire in which her iron was forged. The creators were just so much more interested in it's, it's Zuko's yeah. story. It's so obvious. And it's good. It's really freaking He's good. He's a good actor, though, too. Like, every actor they got, the, the, the patience with the storytelling, the way they breathe, the emotion. Yeah, I rule. Although I feel like... That fish should have been the one to kill him for revenge, you know, kill him, his partner. This is so cool. I love it. Destroy everything. Murder them all. Fire! You guys really should just give up. Huh? You really should just give up. I know. Have you seen this doing anything to it? No, no. It's embarrassing. Or it's now it's not doing anything. Is it dead? No. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, big girl, let's make it water Godzilla. I know the effects are kind of dodgy for a lot of people, but I really like what I'm, I'm looking at it. right now. Oh, I love this. I feel like they mocap this creature. There's no escape, guys. Just move on. Especially because you're in the ocean, and it's yeah, the yeah. ocean spirit. Maybe they don't comprehend that, <laughs> but clearly it's an ocean creature. <laughs> Whoa. I love the mixture of, like, these super blue in the water. Nature always points out the folly of man, right? Godzilla taught me that. Aang is lost. All that's left is a vengeful spirit who will roam endlessly looking for its partner, but will never find it. The world will be forever out of balance. There must be something we can do, some way to bring the moon back to life. I've got it. Sokka, thank you. I love that her eyes are so blue and this gray. Should be your first sign that something's gonna go wrong that you don't like. Wait, what are you doing? I was touched by the moon spirit as a child, so I have its life within me. It's time for me to give it back. This isn't a sad thing. It's pretty sad. Do you know why the ocean and moon spirits take physical form for a night? Because they want to know what it is to be mortal. Why? That sounds. This is awful. <laughs> no, honey. <laughs> it's worth the risk to be alive. I'd rather be a spirit, <laughs> even for just one night. Especially controlling the moon or the ocean. Cool. Hey, don't be an idiot. You're not just the Avatar. You're my family. This is your world. We are your family. Yue, please, please don't. 
Oh my God, the poor dead yeah, fish. I think they've done a really good job on capturing the the motion yeah. melancholy of all of this. No. No. Like the fantastical despair, but the beauty. Oh, he sees that his love is back. <laughs> I must run to the moon. I know you think you don't belong in this world. You were never meant to die 100 years ago. If you had, you wouldn't be here now. And the world needs you. I need you. That was a nice monologue. Bubble. Little ice ball. It's a nice callback to the first episode. It's full circle. Two fishes. Team Avatar. That's what ends with. Look at all those dead people. You it's think bummer. we'll get a post credit scene with Toph? No. That would be cool though, huh? Man, I do love Toph. I know. She's my favorite. A lot of people are my favorite on this show. I know. <laughs> Women, do your job. Start healing. This is why you shouldn't be fighting. Yeah, God. So much destruction. Huh. I was really connected to that guy for I the know. five minutes he was on stream, baby. Real bummed. And that other guy who had no name at all. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? I have no idea. Is Sokka still frozen there? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Just with the fish. I'm sorry I couldn't protect her. What? Be with you forever. She's the moon. She, she's a fish now, right there. My daughter always made her own choices. That's why we didn't let the woman make choices here. It's not something you or anyone could have stopped. We don't know that. She sacrificed herself for all of us. Me? I watched it happen. Really? You're gonna make this moment about you, man? <laughs> <laughs> I stood on the sidelines while others fought and died, being the warrior I could never be. In a moment, but she must have been scared. You made sure she wasn't alone. You don't have to be a warrior, be a hero. You're doing your duty, man. You're being a protector. Do you remember how I told you water is the element of change? I'd forgotten what that truly meant. Change is the key to new life. Growth equals change. You reminded me of that. But what if you don't have to change because you're perfect the way you already are? And I'm deeply grateful that you did. You know, there's a whole new generation of waterbenders who need training. We could use your help. Master Katara. Thanks. But Aang still has a journey to complete, and so do I. You still haven't even learned waterbending. After all, the Avatar still has to learn waterbending. Yeah. <laughs> In that case, he couldn't have asked for a better master. Yeah, I wasn't sure I was going to feel when I saw this like weird old guy makeup, but I really like the performer. Very sincere. I actually think beat up old guy makeup is pretty good. Uh, for you. What is it? Water from our oasis. A reminder of what we've gone through and an invitation to return anytime. Oh. I like Katara. I do too. A lot of people so, do not. <laughs> I know. A lot of people don't. I don't feel like she's very reflective of her anime counterpart, but I like her for what this is. What do you think, Prince Zuko? What do you want to do? Oh, no. I'm tired. Another call back to the first episode. Mm -hmm. Then you should rest. Or a second. Man needs his rest. Everyone's getting the single tear moment uh -huh. this episode. They were like, here, give me some high drops. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we don't know. Maybe he really did it. I caused this. No, Fire Nation did. Because I failed to be the Avatar. What do you mean? You did the cool thing. Dang, this is war. There's going to be losses. There's going to be pain. None of that is your fault. And the firebenders aren't giving up. We have to prepare for whatever they throw at us next. And so stop worrying about the past and start thinking about what you still have to do. Which is train. Train. Go learn something, buddy. I think I understand something Gyatso was trying to tell me. He told me, let go of the past or I'll never have a future. Yes. That is what he said. This is what a lot of people have been saying. <laughs> That's right. You're going to learn water bending, and I'm going to make sure of that. And then earth bending. Tough! Means back to a mosh So, anyone else hungry? Why is everything always about your stomach? Because it's where brain is. <laughs> Says the kid with the melon head. Oh, I could go for a melon. Or a cabbages. Cabbages. Agna Keller took heavy damage. Our forces were unable to take the city. Also, it seems the avatar remains alive. I thought this dude died. No. He was attacked. They didn't die. Conquering the North was always an unlikely proposition. If that was the case, then why attack the North at all? Yeah, funsies, man. Why not? Distraction. Oh, man. 
You learned from the best, didn't you, buddy? He learned from the best. The North was never the true target. Oh my gosh. For the first time in a century, Omashu is ours. And now only Ba Sing Se stands between us and the total conquest of the Earth Kingdom. Oh my goodness. Give me her. Give me her soul. Give her to me. Brilliant strategy. Was the Fire Lord aware Prince Zuko was among the forces at Agna Kella? The loss of life among our troops was substantial. Still his son. He still kind of cares. No, I, I really don't think he does. Look at him. He cares a tiny bit. No, look at him. If Zuko is strong, he'll survive. If not, sometimes you have to sacrifice the weak. Yeah, he cares. To keep yourself strong. Yes! Rise up, Azula! Rise up! Omashu is ours! Wow. For the Fire Nation! What's next? Season two is what's next. Measuring the movements of the heavens has always proven difficult. Jesus Christ. I know. I'm surprised. But we have devised a method to better understand celestial motion. Are we going to get the comet? It's taken a hundred years, but the time finally draws near. Comet comes every hundred years? When? Soon. I'll be amped up. We shall see the return of Sozin's Comet. Ooh. Some great things are to come. Okay. Okay. Well, we did it. In the midst of movie and TV show reactions, leaving such a busy schedule around here, who's got time to prep gourmet meals? Well, that's where Factor steps in. Factor is a game changer, delivering chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals right to your door. It's not just about dinner. They've got your whole day covered with snacks, smoothies, and more. Whether you're into keto, vegan, pescatarian like myself, or just looking for something delicious and healthy, Factor has a variety of meals ready in two minutes flat. Imagine the luxury of gourmet meals without the hassle of prep or cleanup. It's like your personal chef making it easier to eat well amid our busy lives and the best part factor is flexible to fit any schedule pick from six to 18 meals weekly adjusting or pausing anytime life gets in the way it's about making your life easier giving you control and convenience without compromising on quality but factors gourmet plus even my hectic days get a gourmet touch no more grocery runs, just pure deliciousness. So you ready to elevate your food game reject nation? Jump into factor75.com or click below with Real Rejects 50. You're in for a 50% off treat on your first box. Supporting them helps support the channel, but also supporting your health and time. Dive into the gourmet life, people. Alrighty, what would you think? It was good. I actually liked that episode. I still, I don't know. I really like the Godzilla character, but uh, <laughs> I feel like in the <laughs> animated version, this was more fantastical, magical. I don't know, but I, I mean, it's animation, so I guess you could do more with it, make it prettier. Okay, we'll be on the animation side as an episode itself, separating from it. Uh, I like it a lot. I have some quarrels with it. I got qualms, chum. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, I still am the least connected to Aang, and it is eight episodes, and the season is over, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'm excited for Zuko's journey next season. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see more of the Fire Nation and Azula next season. This really should just be called the Fire Nation, honestly. Uh, yeah, I would. I'm, I'm there with you on the on the Aang quality of it. I. They, this is the biggest they went with fantastical for the show that is going for the gravitas and the grid. Like they've done fantastical stuff, obviously, with the spirit world, the other creatures there. Um, just inherently, it's you know fantastical with what the show is. Uh, but to go with like that big with a monster, and this is a this is a sequence that is a very popular one, mm -hmm. and to bring it to life, I thought a, a big part of it was about nailing down the multi layers of tone there, and I thought they actually did a really good job. Uh, interesting. What? I don't think they did a good job of relaying the relationship with the moon and the ocean. I feel like, especially that reunion, could have done been done better. I feel like it's more emotional. I meant just the the 
when the drama was going down. <laughs> I still feel like the tone of emotional importance of the ocean losing his moon. Oh, th- I mean, that quality wasn't as strong to me. No, it wasn't. Uh, but the... The Which surrounding is the whole point of why he becomes the vengeance monster. It's yeah, literally yeah. the whole reason. But uh, I mean, the I'm talking about the parts of it that were. Yeah, I agree with you on that, like on that specific quality. I agree with you. Uh, I'm, I'm talking specifically about the like the build up with Zhao getting ready to you know kill the fish and the way he's like laying into oh, Aang yeah. and then where with the with the um, the, the change in the and the lighting when it's going from red to gray oh, really to cool. blue and the destruction happening all around and the loss that was occurring while Aang is in this form, which is like the ultimate power, but it doesn't feel like conquest. It just feels um, bleak. And I thought that's those elements. But yeah, I mean, they did have to like expositionally remind me of, oh, yeah, yeah, that's why this is happening. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like it would be, re- be reunited. Because that's one of the, the problems with the, with the show as a whole, uh, I, I think, is um, it it can sometimes get bogged down in, in information overload. And the sh- for a show that chooses to expand upon some things, it also causes a lot of things to not breathe. Mm-hmm. And so there's a lot of things that happen that I, I just don't care of. <laughs> like, I personally don't care of that. Like you what? know, like the guy who, who whatever freaking uh, ex husband guy was to Princess Yue. Oh, Han. I, yeah. Like he's nice. He's a good actor. Uh, it's not. It's not that. It's, uh, like I just. There's so much treatment. You know, he's like, oh, slow motion. I'm like, yeah, I don't really give a shit. Honestly, like. See, I like that as a fight scene, but the emotion behind it, like. They, see, that's where I'm like, we could have done without. We could have done without Han's backstory of being like the ex, and we could have focused that into other things because it really doesn't impact the story. Yeah, no, I, I think they, if they're, that, but this is where the show as a whole has a problem is, yeah. is that it comes into, and look, guys, it's not a perfect show, all right? It's I, not. I hate to break it to y'all. It's not a perfect show. <laughs> is that it's not a terrible show either, though. No, I don't. Uh, I would not. I saw Ron Tomatoes today. It's like, a, it got, you know, from critics, it's really bad. That's crazy but, to me. But from uh, audience, it's like middling. And to me, I, I'm i I'm honestly at like a 70% with this show. I'm like a 70 to 75%. I'd say depending, 75%. Depending yeah. on where I'm at with the show <laughs> at, at the what time. What episode I'm in. Yeah. yeah. Like two, th- three, and four I thought were really strong. Six was really good. These last two, I also thought were kind of middling. Yeah, they're, you they're know? fine. I think uh, what they did with Kat- like Zuko's story, I would definitely rank as top of the top. Uh, Zuko and Iroh is a strong connection, but, and, you know, I, I, I don't, I think we've really went into it a lot and I was hoping this final episode would redeem it. It doesn't really redeem anything for me. It's like, yeah, you've, you've, you know, I failed. I'm failing as the avatar. It's just, it's just the same repetitive shit they keep saying all the time. And I'm, I was just, it was like redundant and annoying and there's no depth <laughs> and, yeah. And all this stuff with like, you're my family, Aang. I didn't, the show did not spend much time with them developing like connections yeah. with each other other than they would get along, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that, that, that was about it. I, I was really disappointed by that. And I, one million bajillion gazillion percent. I would exactly have that. Career. That's not a comparison to. The, does the animated show do it? Yeah, they do it, but it's not a comparison to the animated show. Yeah, it's just a show. As a as a show, I would hundred percent feel the exact same way. Of like, I don't understand like this whole thing with. Apparently, there's a lot of off screen bonding that has occurred that yeah, we just did we didn't not see. get to. Obviously, you can't spend all your screen time with them bonding, but the quality of the scenes when they are together have to be above just, you know, pleasant (laughs) with them. Yeah. And then a lot of things are like so. I don't know if this is just like nitpicky, but the whole Momo scene. So Momo is healed and he's there with them when they see the balloon. And then Momo just disappears. Where the hell did Momo go? He could have grabbed that bag of fish. Well, you know, every, and like they just completely drop that part, and I'm like, Momo was there, right? Why is it? I don't understand why. Because they're doing what, 
The one weird thing they decided to do here, which I, I understand structurally, like a lot of it works for the Fire Nation, but it comes at the expense of a lot of other storylines mm -hmm. because they've decided to expand upon the Fire Nation so much. And it's clearly what their interest was in taking elements from season two and three and well, mainly two and then throwing it into here um, has allowed for honestly a really wonderful telling of, of the Fire Nation characters from Iroh, which I know is a big disagree for, <laughs> for Iroh, Sokka, uh, Zuko. Um, I'm enjoying the buildup of Azula, uh, Ozai, Zhao. They're like excellent, excellent. Even the 41st group. Even the 41st group, which is, <laughs> I don't even remember Jack shit about them for the animated. Like, wow, I, I, I was so surprised by that. There would be these, and what I noticed is even with Momo, other than like, yeah, I, I, of course I love, look at Momo. How could you not love Momo? It's Momo. It's look. Momo. But the every moment that should have like a, a res, I, I don't know, some, from medium to large effect of, of, of an emotional payoff or an emotional resounding effect, it, it does not quite get there. Even with Momo coming back, like Momo being back, like, oh, thank God Momo's back. But then Sokka being like, Momo, oh my God, you idiot. I had to remind myself. Oh, yeah, like s seven episodes ago, they weren't getting along. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? you thought Momo was but, annoying. Like, yeah. there's not really a, a, a build to, to, to him. You're like, thank God. It's like, yeah, I'm, I like this moment, but I know this show is really trying to sell me that this should be a very emotional moment for both Sokka and Momo. It's just kind of, like, pleasant. Everything is just this, like, medium ground. <laughs> And and it happens for everyone from Katara. Katara is better, but Katara, Sokka, all of them, because they dedicate so much to the Fire Nation, which is great. But their they, quality of writing is not there for everyone else. I was going to say they have to find a balance going into season two of putting that strong writing and character development from the Fire Nation into uh, really Aang and the relationships around him. That, that has to be a major focus or this show is going to completely lose me because the strongest thing about Aang is his connection to the people around him. Not just the people, but Appa and Momo. There's like a whole storyline of him and Appa and their connection. And you wouldn't know that from this, this season. Like they barely have any connecting moments. And it doesn't have to be like this huge thing. It could be the small details, the small moments, you yeah. know? Like, like, I'm not asking for a whole episode dedicated to it. I'm asking for a 10 to 15 second scene at least showing me that there's some emotion behind this to make it more believable than what you're handing me and expecting me to believe. There's you know? got to be qualitative relationships and the bonding there is so important. I mean, if they're, if they're, if the relationships are not, and and then whenever they talk about information relationships, it, it feels so it's, it's just so repetitive, honestly. Yeah. Like Gyatso is really kind. I love hearing about Gyatso. At the same time, it was just kind of it got to the point where it's getting repetitive. Again, it's just repetitive. And now now we're just repetitive for saying how repetitive it is. You know? And it's a, another thing of move on. You lost your moment with Gyatso. You that is a moment you have lost and you I didn't see you fully mourn that, you know, but I, you want me to expect to believe that this has such an impact on you when even here, this episode, Aang's just there, in my opinion, he turns into the giant monster and that's because it's the ocean seeking vengeance, you know, Aang isn't doing anything. They call him out on, he's learned nothing this entire season. What lessons has he learned? He's got to let go of the past. And move on and stop blaming all the same Eight shit. Eight episodes of the same been being shit. <laughs> been told for the entire time. God. And yeah, I don't really like this. There's a lot of there's time spanning here, and it and it feel and I don't really get this. It, it's kind of clunky, and it's and mm -hmm. it's space spatial awareness of time. It's it's clunky, and there's and sometimes acting can feel wooden because I don't feel there's a great understanding of. Because sometimes I think Katara is great. And then there are other times where I do think 
the way this is being captured makes her performance feel wooden. Mm. But then there's sometimes it's so good where I'm like, no, I get it. It's subdued. She's a girl with, who's got a lot of pain and she's got like big. I, I really liked her speech. Like that was the weird part to me when she's saying like, I need you, Ang. We're family. And I'm like, I don't think this show has earned this moment because I don't buy their family. But I'm only kind. But I like this scene only because I think the actress is doing a really good job with this monologue, and that's why I like it. But the shows, I mean, I'm not into the this whole thing with like family and connection, and like that is an integral part. But I know we've kind of been harping on all. I've this. had this. a problem. I think in the animated series, my biggest problem with Guitar was I felt she was a Mary Sue. I'm pretty sure that was a complaint I had, and I am having a similar complaint here. I feel like everything comes easy to her, from learning water bending to fighting Zuko. She should not be able to hold her own against Zuko. I'm sorry, she really shouldn't. I remember when, I remember there was like an episode where she was really struggling with learning how to water bend, and like Aang was helping her out, and then she was getting annoyed at Aang for helping oh, her yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, I, I remember her being like a bigger complaint <laughs> at, the, at the animated show yeah. at, the, at first. Uh, I remember that. I don't know if I would recall the same feeling. And here it it does. It, yeah, that's what I mean. There's and it keeps coming back. Everything that we keep coming back to is a lot does not feel earned. Yeah. When they get to these certain moments, because of the way time is spent, that it's rushing through things. Where I'm like, a lot is happening right now, but it is. It, it can be a little clunky, and then it it's a mixed bag where a lot is really good. It's hard because you're like, the time spent is probably spent bettering the Fire Nation. So I don't want them to take that away. <laughs> you know? Yeah, because it's so good. Yeah, it's so good. I want them to put that same energy into the other characters as well. <laughs> I want them to share that love. Well... But I don't know if do they're you, capable of doing that. Do you remember when I, uh, like... It was probably like the second episode. I, I think one of my one of my actual comparisons that I was saying I was missing, um, like a legit comparison, was that I felt I kind of miss a little bit of the a bit, a bit of a lighthearted flair that the mm. other one that the animated show would offer. And this is very 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 serious. And I was I got I adjusted to the tone and I liked it a lot. I liked a lot a lot of it. And I. The the impression that I get is that the creators of this this one, they only really want to do the dark shit. Yeah. So that's why the Fire Nation stuff is really good because they really want to do the dark shit. <laughs> but to really know how to do more of the the side of love or or the light side of 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 the characters, that literally like I'm talking like Water Nation. <laughs> and, the characters you know, don't, that don't need the dark. Don't need like they don't need this like. like Aang, <laughs> Pending of abuse, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, that they, they don't really that th that also requires multi layers. Like the dark side, the darkness requires showing the light in Iroh and 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 Zuko, is showing these shades in the other characters. It requires that in order to shine a light on them for the, your quote unquote darker characters, and then for your light characters, you gotta know how to implement both the darkness into into the light characters. And that they, I don't really feel like they have a good grasp on how to how to magnify uh, that side of it. Even though I like Sokka a lot, I think I think the actor Sokka really helps out a lot. Yeah, I, think, I agree. I think whoever I agree. plays him does a really really good job. I, I think agree. he's really fun, um, and he sells a lot of different qualities. I think if there were poor actors in these roles, this would be it should be tough. It would be tough to watch. It would be tough. Yeah, a lot of the actors yeah. really save it. Even when you cut to like the different cultures, mm -hmm. the different tribes. Like I like I like how cultural this show actually yeah. feels too, uh, and I appreciate the amount of. I know some people hate when you say this shit, but whatever. It's, it's a lot of diversity on screen, and and I think the I think it does make it feel more lived in. Yeah, and. The actors really help with that. So I, I think, and the music's been really solid. And the action, for the most part, has been good. Yeah. And so, yeah, I'm like, it's somewhere between, I'm making an even 73%. About a 75%. <laughs> yeah. About a 75%. Yeah. I feel like it could have been a stronger ending, but I am hopeful that they will take what was strong here 
and expand upon it and make the rest of it great if there's a season two. Yeah, they really got to improve Aang. They have to. They like, have to. Oh, man, your show is doomed if you don't do that shit. He is the main, he's the quintessential oh, character. Yeah, no, it is. And it's rough. Sometimes when he's on screen, it is rough to pay attention to him, no, honestly. I'm forcing it's myself rough. to pay attention. Okay. So it, they have to fix that. That's that's a must. It's Send really this review to the writers. <laughs> it's really hard. It's really hard, yeah. Um, But what would you guys think overall? Where would you rank it? What's a 73? I, I, was doing, if I was doing a letter. Oh, my God, no. I'm going to go that low. I would you wouldn't s- go a C? I 100% will go a C. I'd say like a C plus. Okay, so you're looking at 75. C plus or B minus. No, you're 78. They're like B minuses. C plus. C I, plus. I'm sticking with my 75%. Because there were some episodes that were were tough to get through. Yeah. <laughs> they were tough to get through. All righty. Well, that's the end. You tell us your thoughts. What would you rate it as? In any rating you want. Letters, 9 out of 10. I mean, out of 10. Percentages. What is the rating system over in like the UK? In the Europe Nation. Do they do grades? Like A+. Plus? What's the what's the rating over there? I'm curious. They have you sweep chimneys. They give you tea. You get a tea if you do good on a test. You get tea. They don't and do you get grades? fish and chips. My ideas now. Okay, fish and chips. Yep, you slurp those fish and <laughs> chips. That's why people eat them, like <laughs> <laughs> like worm food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is over. <laughs> Goodbye.